Good day, grade 10 art warriors! I am Jericho Pontipiedra of Big Day National High School. Are you excited for our today's lesson? Great! So fasten your seatbelt and get ready to explore the various media-based arts in the Philippines. Before we start, let us first be reminded once again with the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. First, respect everyone. Second, no hate speech. Third, be guided with the anti-cyber bullying law. Fourth, no promotion of products or items. Fifth, use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries. Six, after the FB live streaming, attend the class discussion in the FB Messenger classroom with the subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by these protocols for us to maintain the orderliness during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to learn in this video. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Identify the art elements in various media-based arts in the Philippines. Identify representative artists as well as distinct characteristics of media-based arts and design in the Philippines. Discusses the truism that Filipinos' ingenuity is distinct, exceptional, and on a par with global standards. And discusses the role or function of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. Before you get fully excited, you may want to participate in our short activity by typing your answers in our comment section. This game is entitled Jumbled Letters. In this activity, you will identify the media-based art terminologies by arranging the jumbled letters. You will be given 10 seconds on each number. And if you got all perfect score, you will be given an Art Warrior Badge. Are you ready? Let's start with number 1. It came from the Greek word photos meaning light and graphos meaning writing. If your answer is photography, you are correct. Next, number two. A composition in photography that involves two horizontal lines and two vertical lines as a guide in taking photos. If your answer is a rule of thirds, that is excellent! Let's proceed to number 3. A device for recording visual images in form of photographs, films, or video signals. If your answer is camera, superb! You got it right! Next, number 4. In filmmaking, they are responsible for the design or style of physical surroundings, selection of any furniture or props, and tools needed to create the set. If your answer is set designer, you are amazing! And for the last number, number 5. A motion picture or moving picture is a visual art used to stimulate experiences that communicate ideas, stories, perceptions, feelings, beauty, or atmosphere through the use of moving images. If your answer is film, 
marvelous. Your answer is right. It's nice that you have a good strategy of identifying terms in Media Base Arts. You have earned your first Art Warrior badge. Good job! Before we proceed with our lesson, let us remember and have a recap on technology-based arts by playing a game entitled Logo Quiz. All you need to do is to identify the logo presented within 5 seconds. You may type your answers in the comment box. If you got perfect score, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 Wonderful! The correct answer is Pixar. Number 2 If your answer is Instagram, that is right. Number 3 Excellent! The answer is Adobe Photoshop. Number 4 If your answer is Snapseed, you are doing great! And number 5 If your answer is Visco, you are awesome! Congratulations! With your sharp memory, you earn your second Art Warrior badge. Let us have another activity, Art Warriors. This activity is entitled Lights, Camera, Action. All you need to do is to identify the title of the movie based on the dialogue of the characters. You may type your answers at the comment box below. You only have 5 seconds for you to identify the title of the movie. If you got all the correct answers, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. So, are you ready? Let's begin! Lights, Camera, Action! Number 1 Time is up. If your answer is bata bata, paano ka ginawa? You've got it right. Next, number two, lights, camera, action. You're nothing but a second rate, trying hard, copycat. Time is up. Excellent! The correct answer is between walang ningning. Let's proceed to number 3. Lights, camera, action! Dahil nga ang mundo ay isang malaking kiyapo. Maraming snatcher. Maaagawan ka. Lumabang ka. Time is up. If your answer is no other woman, that is correct. Next, number four. Lights, camera, action. She loved me at my worst. You had me at my best. But we are not going to Time is up. Awesome! The correct answer is one more chance. And for the last number, number 5. Lights, camera, action! Pero bakit parang galit ka? Pero bakit kasalanan ko? Parang kasalanan ko. Eh, eh sa totoo lang naman ako ngayon inggit na inggit sa inyong lahat. Time is up. If your answer is four sisters and a wedding, excellent! You got it right! Well done! If you got all five answers correctly, you are a certified movie expert. 
By that, you just earned your third Art Warrior badge. And now, let's begin the discussion of the media-based arts in the Philippines, particularly photography and film. Photography came from the Greek word photos, meaning light, and graphos, meaning writing, as it states this process literally. In its early stages, during the late 19th century, photography was viewed as a purely technical process that of recording visible images by light action on light-sensitive materials. Focusing at the camera at the subject and clicking the shutter is photography as process, discerning a significant moment or a unique expression, framing it in the camera viewfinder with an eye for composition, and then clicking the shutter is photography as art. That discernment and that eye for composition are the factors that elevate a photographer from a mere recorder of images to an artist. Photography is now viewed as being more than just beautiful. It is also considered one of the most powerful means of communication. This power comes from two distinctive characteristics of photography, immediacy and detail. An image recorded by a camera has a sense of authenticity. Because the lens captured the image objectively, the resulting photograph is regarded as true to life and of the moment. At the same time, the camera takes in every detail of an image. Thus, the photograph has a sense of completeness. For these reasons, photographs are vital tools in communication fields such as journalism, advertising, education, and even in courts of law. They have also been used to eloquently speak out against social and political issues. Filipinos have a great eye in photography. We capture the most unique and the most interesting art by using camera. Let us meet the world-renowned Filipino photographers. First, George Tapan. He is an award-winning travel photographer who has won local and international awards for travel photography. His works has been published in various prominent industry publications both in the Philippines and abroad. The veteran travel photographer is a 1990 Gold Grand Award winner of the Pacific Asia Travel Association. He is also the Department of Tourism 1999 Kalakbay Award Travel Photographer of the Year, the multi-awarded Filipino photographers into the green zone photo was named first place winner in the places category of the National Geographic Photo Contest, besting about 20,000 entries from 130 countries. Second, John K. Chua is best known as an advertising and commercial photographer with over 40 years of experience in this field and numerous local and international awards for his work. At the same time, he has applied his photo artistry to showcase the beauty of the Philippines. And now, let us talk about the film or cinema. The transition from still photography came in the late 1800s with the series photography and the invention of celluloid strip film. This allowed successive still photos of a moving subject to be captured on a strip of film, advancing through a single camera. The need to view these moving images led to the rise of the kinetoscope, a peep show cabinet with an eye hole through which these earliest movies could be viewed one person at a time. A motor inside the cabinet moved the film strip along in a loop, with an electric bulb providing illumination from beneath. In the meantime, European and American investors were providing one technological advancement after another. The French developed the cinematograph, a hand crank camera, printer, and projector, all in one that was lightweight enough 
to bring outside the studio. By 1901, the earliest motion pictures were rapidly progressing from one scene, studio films to multiple scene narratives film outdoors. Driven by this and many more advances, the art aspect of filmmaking was born. Let us talk about the people who work collaboratively in creating the art of filmmaking. First, film director. The film director envisions the final effect of the film on its viewers visually, mentally, and emotionally. He or she works with ideas, images, sounds, and other effects to create this unique piece of art. He or she also conceptualizes the scenes, directs the acting, supervises the cinematography, and finally the editing and sound dubbing in much the same way as visual artist composes an artwork. Film actors expresses themselves without the exaggerated facial expressions and gestures. They had to learn to deliver their lines naturally and believably. Cinematography The art and technology of motion picture photography. It involves such techniques as the general composition of a scene, the lighting of the set or location, the choice of cameras, lenses, filters, and film stock, the camera angle and movements, and the integration of any special effects. Editing. The art of selecting precise sections of film, then sequencing and joining them to achieve the director's desired visual and emotional effect. Sound editing was also developed as film began to include more ambitious effects beyond the dialogue and the background music. Production designer. They work closely with the director, cinematographer, and other teams like costume designers and makeup artists. They also responsible to scout shooting locations and determine how much money to allocate to CGI or computer-generated images in the post-production. Set designer. They are responsible for the design or style of physical surroundings, selection of any furnitures or props, and tools needed to create the set. After reading this script, the set designer will create sketches, draw skilled floor plans for the set, and produce three-dimensional or computer-generated models. There are a lot of genres that you can choose in creating a film. Silent films, gangster movies, horror, drama, comedy, fantasy, action, adventure, science fiction, western movies, documentary films, and indie films. And now, here are the famous Philippine filmmakers and their remarkable movies. Number 1. Lino Broca He directed films such as Tinimbang Ka Ngunit Kulang and Maynila Sa Mga Huko ng Liwanag. Number 2. Mike De Leon He created films like Itim, Sister Stella L, and Bayaning Third World. Number 3. Ishmael Bernal. He directed the famous film Himala. Walang Himala! Ang Himala ay nasa puso ng tao! Nasa puso nating lahat! Tayo ang gumagawa ng Himala! Tayo ang gumagawa ng mga sumpa! Ng mga Diyos! Number 4. Peke Galiaga. He created the Philippine historical war drama Oro Plata Mata. Number 5, Loris Guillen. She is the protege of Lino Broca and directed Tangin Yaman, American Adobo, Santa Santita, and Sayo Lamang. Number 6, Marilu Diaz Abaya, a multi awarded director behind the film Jose Rizal, Moro Ami, and Bagong Buwan. Number 7, Mario de los Reyes. He created the heartfelt film Magnifico. Pagtawid natin ng tulay, ando na yung perya. 
Masaya dun sa perya. Marami mga sasakyan. May umiikot pataas. Tapos meron din sila nung kabayo, paikot-ikot. Number 8. Brillante Mendoza. He is an independent filmmaker who created the film Kinatay, where he won the Best Director Award at the highly prestigious Cannes Film Festival of 2009. For us to achieve an artistic photograph and film, we need to identify the compositions used in photography and filmmaking. Number 1. The Rule of Thirds the rule of thirds involves two horizontal lines and two vertical lines as a guide in taking your photos. It suggests placing key elements of your photos at the points where any of the lines intersect. Number 2. Angles The angles refers to the degree at which the camera points towards the subject. For us to understand the angle, we need to identify the different angle shots. First, eye level shot. Second, high angle shot. Third, low angle shot. Fourth, bird's eye angle shot. And fifth, canted angle shot. Number three, leading lines. These lines often draws the viewer's eye in a specific direction or towards designated portion of the photograph. Number 4. Symmetry Symmetry, also known as formal balance, is achieved when both sides of the image hold equal weight. And last number, number 5. Lighting Lighting is a key factor in creating successful image. Lighting determines not only brightness and darkness, but also tone, mood, and the atmosphere. For your activity, we are going to do a photography scavenger hunt. And here are the instructions. First, take a picture of every item or subject on the list. You might have to make some items or you might have to get creative. Only one picture per item is needed. Reminders, this activity should be done at home. You are not allowed to take photos outside. Photos are straight out of the camera or cell phone. You may edit the photos using photo editing applications and software. Do not alter the photo but enhance it. Here will be the criteria in grading your photos. First, assignment. Turn in required numbers of photos. Second, principles and elements of design and composition. Evidence of principles and elements. Third, quality. Perfectly in focus, no shakiness or blur. Fourth, concept and idea. Presented the idea in a unique and novel way. The maximum points in each criterion is 5, while the minimum point is 1. Send these photos to your MAPI teacher through Facebook Messenger, Google Drive, or any platforms. And now, challenge yourself in a 5-item quiz. I will read the question and choices once. You are only given 5 seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. Art Warriors, are you ready? This is the Art Pop Quiz Challenge! Number 1. The art of process of producing images by the action of the radiant energy and especially light on a sensitive surface such as film or an optical sensor. A. Digital Arts B. Painting C. Photography B. Video Games The correct answer is C. Photography Number 2 Which of the following compositions of photography describes when both sides 
of the image hold equal weight? A. Angels B. Leading lines C. Rule of thirds D. Symmetry The correct answer is D. Symmetry Number 3 he is an award-winning travel photographer who has won two Pacific Asia Tourism Association Gold Awards, an ASEAN Tourism Association Award, and first place in the 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. A. Brillante Mendoza B. George Tapan C. John K. Chua D. Marilu Diaz Abaya The correct answer is B. George Tapan. Number 4. He is the creator of Magnifico and won the Best Director Distinction at the 2003 FAMAS Award and garnered other local and international film awards as well. A. John K. Chua B. Lino Broca C. Mario de los Reyes D. Peque Galiaga. The correct answer is C. Mario de los Reyes. Number 5. The art and technology of motion picture photography that involves such techniques as the general composition of a scene the lighting of the set or location, the choice of cameras, lenses, filters, and film stock, the camera angles and movements, and the integration of any special effects. A. Angles B. Cinematography C. Lighting D. Symmetry The correct answer is B. Cinematography. Well done, Art Warriors! I am happy that you're able to challenge yourself to do the pop quiz. And for the effort that you do, I will give you the fourth Art Warrior badge. How many Art Warrior badges did you get? If you get all the Art Warrior badges, congratulations! You may proceed now to the next level of learning. For your assignment, you will create your own music video. And here are the instructions. First, choose a song for about 2 minutes in length. Second, on your own time at home, create a series of video selfies of yourself with that tune as the background music. Third, Using a video editing program, as discussed in the second quarter, synchronize the video segments with the beat and lyrics of your chosen song. And last, save the finished video and send it to your MAPE teacher through Facebook Messenger, Google Drive, or any platforms. Remember Art Warriors? Photography came from the Greek word photos, meaning light, and graphos meaning writing as it states this process literally photographs are vital tools in communication fields such as journalism advertising education and even in courts of law film is a motion picture or moving picture is a visual art used to stimulate experiences that communicates ideas stories perceptions feelings beauty or atmosphere through the use of moving images, rule of thirds, angles, symmetry, leading lines, and lighting are the key compositions of photography and filmmaking. Once again, this is Jericho Pontipiedra, your art teacher. And always remember, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important, capture the good times developed from the negatives, and if things don't turn out, just take another shot. Stay safe everyone, 
Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.